So I've run about 200 miles in my ASICS Gel Excite 7 and I just wanted to share my reflections on how they've been, how they've held up in those 200 miles. Just a few technical bits to start with. So they are a road shoe, unsurprisingly um, by the look of them. So they're mainly made for um, road running. The heel drop is eight millimeters. So that is the drop between the heel and the toe. So eight millimeters. And the 284 grams, so pretty light as a shoe. And the cushioning is described as neutral. Um, and they've got ASICS Amplifone technology in the sole as well. So the first thing I wanted to talk about with them was just comfort over these 200 miles that I've used them for. Um, I think it's, yeah, I think it's about 225 miles in total, uh, 225, 230 that I've used them for. So, you know, a fair bit. Um, I think they've still got a lot of life in them yet. Uh, the comfort has been great so far. So it hugs your foot, foot really nicely, this shoe. Uh, there's no kind of unnecessary uh, looseness in certain parts of it. Uh, I got these in a 10.5, so I'm usually 10 and a half um, UK size, and, and that has worked well for me. So yeah, really good comfort overall. Um, the mesh is very breathable on the top, so nice airflow there. Um, so you know, good for particularly hot runs. And in terms of the, the cushioning, that's been really great. Like, I remember when I transitioned from my old shoes to these ones, um, these just really felt like running on pillows. They are pretty amazing in terms of the, the cushioning. Um, so great comfort on that. It's It's been you know a lot easier not having like a joint pain or anything with these shoes because they really do um, take a lot of the, the impact as you're running on road. So great comfort to start with. Um, the durability of them. So that has been really positive as well. So over the 200 miles that I've used them for, there's not been significant wear and tear on them. So if I just take you through, if we look at the mesh upper to start with, there's not great wear and tear there. There's no kind of snags or um, or any rips or tears or anything like that. Uh, so the integrity of the shoe is certainly still there. Um, you know, this hasn't kind of worn down and, and got really um, loose or anything like that um, so that's good as well so you still feel protected after a couple of hundred miles um, on the sole the cushioning still feels very similar to when I first bought them I think there's only a very you know minor difference between the cushioning now and the cushioning when I first started using them um, so that's really good moving on to the sole a little bit more wear on there. There was kind of like little nodules on each of these pads. They've worn down slightly, but it doesn't feel like the grip's gone um, when you run in them. And even in slippy conditions, this shoe can deal can deal well with those. I think the main wear, the most significant wear, has probably been on the heels. And you know, if you get these shoes, or if you have these shoes, then that will probably depend on the way you run. Um, but for me, there's just a, a couple of bits uh, where you, you can see just in there where it's worn like a little hole. I don't feel that as I'm running. Um, it hasn't given me any blisters or anything like that. Um, but that's the only noticeable, more significant wear. Uh, and there's one, just a little one on the on the other shoe as well. So again, you can see where it's just kind of rubbed a little bit there. Um, but you know, haven't hasn't affected the the comfort. So overall. Yeah, good for durability. I expect probably got another two, three hundred miles um, in these um, where they'll, you know, they'll they'll hold up. Um, versatility was the other thing I wanted to talk about with these as well. So I would say that these are a really versatile shoe for a road shoe. So, you know, they're meant for road running. But uh, at the same time, I've used them off road. Um, for you know gravelly paths for um, mud tracks as well and in most conditions they deal really well with those so I used these for an ultra that I did 50 kilometer ultra and that was a mixture kind of like uh, you know cliff paths um, with uh, you know gravel and little stones so fairly uneven surface it was very dry though um, but it dealt well with those um, the only limitation would be that you know you couldn't really use these for a like a an extreme uh, wet mud path, um, but you know it, they're a road shoe, so you don't necessarily really expect that from them. But they can deal with off road conditions. Running on grass uh, is fine on different tracks as well. So you know overall very versatile for a road shoe. Uh, the final thing on them I just wanted to mention was affordability and, and whether they were worth the money. 
Um, I feel like these shoes were really worth it because they cost me about 50 quid. Um, so um, on the cheaper end of things, you know, not the cheapest trainers you can get, the cheapest running shoes, but uh, down the lower end. So for 50 quid um, and for the cushioning they give you, the versatility um, and how they hold up, the comfort, I think they were a, a really, really good buy. So that's my reflections after a couple of hundred miles. I'll probably do another one. I'll see how these are after, you know, four, maybe 500 miles and then can see uh, if I'm still as positive about them. But, you know, so far it's been really good, really impressed with them. Uh, and they've held up and I will probably buy another pair as well. So when it comes to to getting another pair for like the marathon I'm training for at the moment, I probably would get them again. Um, so overall, really positive shoe. And yeah, I think well worth it. So I hope you found that useful. If you did, then like the video and subscribe for more reviews, weekly training vlogs and race videos.